Hi, my name is Trev Hutchings and this is my guide to Snap in BandLab. When editing your song or using the step sequencer in BandLab, you need to know what Snap is and how to use it. In the step sequencer at the top right of the screen is an icon that looks like a magnet. This is the snap icon. Tap on the icon to turn snap on or off. When the icon is green, snap is on. Turn snap on if you want all the notes to be exactly on the beat or you're new to using the step sequencer. With snap on, tap on the screen to add a note. The note is added to the screen and automatically is moved so the beginning of the note is positioned exactly on the nearest vertical line on the screen. Now place your finger on the note and drag the note across the screen. The beginning of the note automatically moves to the nearest vertical line. Now place your finger on the end of the note and drag the end of the note to make the note longer. Now the end of the note automatically moves to the nearest vertical line. Now tap on the snap icon to turn snap off. Turn snap off if you want to create triplets, or you want to use notes that are off beat, or you want to place the notes slightly ahead or slightly behind the beat to create a more human sounding song. With the snap turned off, tap on the screen to add a note. The note is added to the screen exactly where you place your finger and is no longer automatically moved to the nearest vertical line. Now place your finger on the note and drag it across the screen. The note moves to exactly where you moved it. Drag the first note too. Now this note moves to exactly where you moved it too. Now place your finger at the end of either note and drag the end of the note to make the note longer or shorter. The end of the note moves exactly where you dragged it. At the top right of the screen, tap on the V icon. At the top right of the screen, tap on the V icon again. At the top left of the screen is the word snap. Tap on the word snap to turn snap on or off. Turn snap on when you want to slice, copy and paste a section of your recorded track to more than one place on your track and keep the duplicates in sync with the rest of your song. When the word snap is highlighted green, snap is on. With snap on, drag the screen to move the white vertical track position marker. The track position marker automatically moves to the nearest half note position on the ruler that is above the top track. Tap on the recorded section on the track. Then place your finger on the recorded section on the track and drag it to the right. The beginning of the recorded section automatically moves to the nearest half note position on the ruler. Turn snap off if one of your tracks is out of sync with the rest of the song so that you can move that track to be precisely back in sync with the rest of the song. Tap on the word snap to turn off snap. Drag the screen to move the white vertical position marker. The track position marker now moves to exactly where you dragged it to. Tap on the recorded section on the track, then place your finger on the recorded section on the track and drag it to the right or left. The recorded section now moves to exactly where you dragged it to. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.